Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. It is 84 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 29 degrees Celsius in late April in Southwest Florida. Uh, it is late afternoon, early evening, and it's still a little warm, still really humid, and my orchids are loving it. Um, I'm gonna try to get through today's video without having any technical issues. Um, yesterday I had a, I, I made a video and it was the best video I ever made on phototropism in, in orchids. Uh, and I got home and was trying to edit it and the microphone was giving me incredible noise and feedback, really annoying more than me normally, so I, I just couldn't use it. Uh, it actually wasn't the best video, but it was, it was a nice video. I'll, I'll have to do it again later, but I'm trying a new, um, a new microphone set up today. Uh, I ordered another microphone, should be here soon, but in the meantime, I'm going to be uh, trying something a little bit different, and I hope the sound is okay. Uh, what I want to talk to you about today is some new blooms, and I've got uh, three orchids that are in my collection that I want to share with you, and each one of these is displaying a first bloom for me. Uh, these are not from seedlings. These are, these are new acquisitions that just haven't bloomed for me yet. And I'm pretty, I'm always excited to see new blooms because I, I you know, you know what they're going to look like in the picture, but you don't know exactly what they're going to look like. Uh, there's fragrance associated with, with one of them that I can smell right, well, it's right here. I'm just smelling it and it's awesome. Uh, and there's some, there's uh, one that hasn't been fragrant yet and one that's just not going uh, to be fragrant. I also have, I've got some, you know, these are, these are den the dens that are behind me that are just always blooming and, and that's the case here. They're always around, the big plant that's up in my, uh, up in my bougainvillea. Anyway, let's get to some of the, uh, some of the first blooms on my orchids that I want to share with you. And the first one that I want to show you is this one right here and this is this is white this is a uh, pastoral innocence and it's you as you can tell it's a pretty small plant and it's got a a pretty huge uh, bloom on it and I'm, I'm happy with it overall the only uh, problem is and I think this will get fragrant, but I'm not smelling anything yet. This opened um, a couple of days ago, so it's not quite there. And typically, the other thing is typically, <laughs> and the plant propagator junior knows this, is that I usually don't like uh, white orchids, but, um, you know, it's the absence of color. But they're actually a little more unusual in many cases to have white orchids. So I'm trying this. Um, I, I want to incorporate some of the um, properties of this in my breeding program. Um, I don't know whether I'll do it with the first bloom because the plant itself is so small. But still, um, this is pastoral innocence, as you might imagine. Big um, white flowers, just a, a really nice flower form. The plant itself is pretty vigorous, so this is, came out of a new uh, pseudobulb. And I, I'm looking at the base of it. I don't know if, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's some nice roots growing out of the base. So it's, a, it's a, a small plant and a small pot. This will get big, I'm sure. Um, but it's nice, and so I just wanted to introduce you to uh, Pastoral Innocence, uh, first bloom for me. It's an old, old hybrid, um, and I, but again, it's new for me. It's my first bloom on this plant. Okay, let's move on. And the next plant that I have is one that is, has been blooming for a while, and it's actually way past uh, its peak. So this guy right here is, uh, this is uh, Oncidium uh, spatialatum. And I got this from a colleague, and it was a huge plant. And I broke it up and made three plants, gave one away, still have two. The other one, this one just bloomed this year for the first time. The other one hasn't bloomed. These things get huge. Um, I've, I've seen them just all over the place. They'll get big. I've heard somebody, one person told me that the space a lot of them will get big enough so that the individual plants uh, up, in, up in trees, they got mounted in, in trees and they're, the guy said it was as, the, the, as big as the bed in his pickup truck, and he's got a big pickup. So these plants will get big. I've got it in a, a, 
kind of a big pot, but it's not huge. Um, and it's putting out, as you can may, may or may not be able to see, it's got a new, um, you know, a new shoot growing out here, another one right here. I saw them, yeah, then there's another one right, right here growing out as well. Um, and this, but this is my first, um, my first bloom, and it's okay. It wasn't fragrant that I could tell. It's not fragrant now. It's a little bit past its peak, but it's, um, you know, it, it's, it's doing okay. So I just wanted to share this Oncidium um, with you. I am probably not going to hold it because they get so big and because there's no fragrance here. Um, I'm probably, you know, it's fine. It's first bloom, but I'm probably not going to hold on to the second plant that I have that's from a division of the initial plant that I received. Okay, moving on a little bit, and apparently this is going to be a quick video. The last one, the last orchid that I want to share with you, I've, I've got something else I want to show you, but this is uh, an Encyclia cordigera, and this plant is, is right here. Um, I, I got this not, maybe not quite a year ago from uh, Palmer Orchids. And the, uh, the person that sold this to me, so Tristan, thanks for making this recommendation. I'm really liking this plant. Um, he told me that the base of the pseudobulbs will get as big as softballs. And this isn't softball sized, but yeah, it's a good baseball size, I think. Um, and it's doing really well. The, the thing, right, we'll get to the flowers in just a second, but look at the... Look at the size of this, this pseudobulb right here. This thing, it's just huge. And it's plump. And I think, I think it's not as pretty as the flowers, but it's pretty nice. I, I, I like it. I think it's cool. And I've got um, two, two new growths coming out. I'm going to angle it so you might be able to see it. So there's one there. I can't tell if you could see that. And then there's another one down in right here. Um, so there's two new, there's two new uh, bulbs growing out of it. Um, these things are, this thing is growing well. It was, it was pretty vigorous. It put, a, it, it's growing a lot of roots. Uh, it is in Lecca and Lava Stone. My understanding is that it likes to be uh, a little drier, so I have it in, in the conditions that it's dry. Um, but it is an encyclia, so it is um, crossable and compatible with a lot of the cattleyas in my collection, and I really do like the flowers on this plant. They're really, um, and this is, I should mention that this is the, the variety is Rosea um, Dark. So this is, and this is about what it's got three flowers open and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more that have yet to open. So this is, this is still in the early stages of blooming. One of the nice things, that, I mean, the, the flower itself is really special it's really nice and i'm gonna i'm gonna cross this encyclia with some of my cats or i am at least gonna collect some polenia from this but the nice thing about this <laughs> is that is the fragrance the fragrance is just wonderful on this thing so i i i like to um use fragrant orchids in my breeding program <laughs> and this one this one really checks that box. Um, I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know how compatible it's going to be with my other plants. Um, Encyclia cordigera has been used in a lot of different crosses. So um, just because of, I mean, you know, because of the plant, I should step back so you can see the, the whole thing. Um, it has been used in a lot of crosses, um, but I'm just going to try some just to see how it goes. Again, because it's, it's, it's crossable with my cattleyas, but it's not as closely related. It's not cattleya times cattleya. So, but it should, it should cross, and I'm going to use it for my crosses. All right, so um, this is the last flowering orchid. I do want to show you something. I, I just, this is really one of the first plants where I've been, <laughs> I really liked how, how beautiful this, the, the pseudobulb is, this, the size of this thing. The glossiness, uh, it's ooh, it's smooth. Um, it's just a really nice looking plant. And then I was looking through out through some of my other orchids, and I got to show you one more thing because from oop, this was over here because for me, um, it's it's exciting uh, to see these things that I haven't that I haven't really seen before. So I'm going to reach down here. Excuse me. I'm going to reach down here and grab this. 
another Oncidium. So this is Oncidium, and I've shared the flowers of this with you before. So this is uh, Oncidium Sweet 16 um, Pre-Possessing. -pre -pre and this is putting, there's a bloom spike right here, and it's coming out on it. But the reason that I wanted to show you this after looking at the Encyclia is look at this, another just big, beautiful um, base of this bulb. I haven't had this plant for too long, um, but when I've had it, 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 hasn't, it hasn't done this. So this, this thing is just huge, and none of my encyclias have had a, have had a, a bulb like that. Um, it's, it's pretty big, and it's kind of fun, and you got this big, um, this big spike coming out of it. And then there's another spike, uh, another um, leaf coming out right here. Uh, on this plant. So this is doing well, again, in a small pot on a, uh, using a, a hanger that the uh, plant propagator Junior uh, gifted to me. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy with this plant. My memory of this plant when it bloomed uh, last year was that this spike got really large um, and it, it got up really, really large. Yikes! It got, and it, um, it took a long time to expand out and open, and so that's that's what I think. You know, I'm sure that's going to happen. The same thing this year. But again, I just wanted to share this with you because of the uh, the size uh, of the the base of this um, pseudo bulb and how how big it is and how cool it looks. So um, that's all I have for today. I just had a few orchids uh, that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully, I will get my microphone issue resolved and be able to bring you. Um, some more videos with my new setup. Yay. Um, all right, so that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you enjoyed it and you want to keep on seeing my videos, it would help me out if you could click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. All right. Jeez, it's warm. <laughs> and it's late, too. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed my video, and happy propagating.